So before we go, there is one last thing remaining. So I had told you that what would be the need of a network with just two IP addresses. So like we see here, now these are two routers which are connected to each other and there is no one in between them. So these are basically to connect two or three different ge geographical locations. So here we do not need more than four addresses and to efficiently use IP addresses, what we could, what we can see here is they are assigned into a network with the subnet mask of 252 because all they need is two IP addresses which will connect these two and the other two which would be the broadcast and the network identification address or the network address. So like this, we can efficiently use IP addresses by dividing them into small subnets and using the number as per requirement. Now, with this, we come to the end of uh, the video of IP addressing. So this particular file is available uh, for you on the course page. What we would recommend is you go ahead and uh, look at this uh, file, uh, see how the IP addresses have been assigned. One of uh, very interesting exercises could be draw this entire network on a piece of paper, try to identify which are the different networks that are available in this uh, topology and try to identify their network addresses. We would encourage you to use the topology file and experiment and play with it and see all the type of different networks that are available and the IP addresses which have been assigned. Thank you. We just saw how a network was divided and IP addresses were assigned either statically or dynamically via DHCP. We also saw IP address classes which belong to public and private IP addresses. We also saw about another device called the router. Now, the router breaks the network and acts as the transition between one network and the other. Now is a good time for you to take a quiz.